Black mustard is found in most of the continental U.S. and Hawaii. It is widespread in California, growing in disturbed areas such as neglected fields, pastures, ditches, and roadsides. It is a particular threat to some communities of conservation significance in California, including fog belt grasslands, annual grasslands, and coastal sage scrub. It destroys its competition wherever it grows by producing chemicals that inhibit other plants' growth. Combating this weed is extremely difficult because it is so widespread, but now Vandenberg Air Force Base has a new recruit in the war on black mustard. My name is Kathy Voth. In 2004, I developed a simple technique to teach cows to eat weeds. The steps are based on two decades of research describing how animals choose what to eat. They're easy, inexpensive, and anyone can use them. In April of 2008, I spent six days working with base and penitentiary staff, teaching them how to train 50 yearling heifers to eat black mustard. Here are the steps and how we use them to train the heifers. We used to believe that palatability was a matter of taste. Now, scientists have discovered that palatability is based on internal feedback from nutrients and toxins in foods. Nutrients tend to increase palatability, while toxins tend to decrease it. So, this cow is choosing to eat Italian thistle because she has learned it provides good nutritional feedback. We've also discovered that animals choose a variety of foods based on interactions between nutrients and toxins and on their own changing physical needs. All this means that the first thing we need to know about our plant is its nutritional value. In this case, black mustard has adequate nutrients, as do most green and growing things. We also need to know what toxins our plant contains. All plants contain toxins. Toxins are secondary chemicals a plant produces to reduce the amount an animal will eat of it. However, some secondary compounds can cause sickness, abortion, or death. So, before feeding a plant to an animal, it's important to know what's in it. Black mustard contains glucosinolates and sulfur-containing amino acids. While these toxins have caused problems in very high concentrations in other brassicas, there is no evidence that animals will suffer negative effects from eating black mustard. I like to work with young animals because they are more likely to try new things. In this case, we chose yearling heifers so they can teach their calves to eat black mustard next year. It's also important to work with healthy animals who have plenty to eat. Starving animals don't have the nutrients they need to process toxins in plants, and ranchers make little profit off of thin cows. Finally, when you're deciding how many animals to train, keep in mind that you'll have to pick weeds for them for about three days. Here's how much I picked for our herd of 50. The basic plan is this. Every morning and afternoon for four days, I'll feed an unfamiliar nutritious food. The foods will have different flavors and textures, but there will be one familiar flavor from one food to the next. In this case, watered down molasses. Because the heifers will get good nutritional feedback from the foods, they will learn to like them. Because of their good experiences, they will start to expect that everything I bring them will be good to eat. Using troughs they are familiar with helps us because they're already used to having food delivered this way. Our first challenge is just getting the cows to the troughs the first morning. We called them in with familiar trucks and horns and got a little help from the herd dogs. The process is a little slower when we're on our own. Patience is key. Come on, cow. The excitement level grew as the cows moved. Uh oh, they're fighting. Very good fighting. Come on. Go, cows. Oh, slow down. Oh, 
gosh, it's like watching a glacier. <laughs> well, I don't know if any of them are actually any closer. Yeah, they are. They're, they're, they're going off on a tangent. They're coming. No, they're not. You're just saying that, so I'll keep talking <laughs> on the one. Oh, here they come. Boy, you almost need like a time-lapse photography to take <laughs> pictures of them moving. <laughs> a picture every five minutes. Hey. Look how fast they run. Oh, now what happened? <laughs> this is just part of the training. By day four, they knew we'd be there at 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. and were sometimes waiting at the troughs for us. Now let's watch how the training went and see some of the changes we made to the training protocol due to time constraints. This cow's behavior says she's not too sure about this new food. It's completely normal for the cows to leave most of a new food and then come back and finish it later. They're starting to get the idea. Because funding was short, we sped up the training process a bit, introducing black mustard on the afternoon of the second day. We hoped by seeing and trying mustard early in the process, it would become the familiar thing among many unfamiliar foods. We added wheat bran to the leftover mustard on the third morning. Here, a cow eats day-old mustard. We decided to focus on the flowering portions of the plant, thinking that if the cows would eat those, it would help us begin to reduce the seed bank in future years. Here we spray on a little molasses water, while a cow at the last trough eats plain mustard. By the morning of the fourth day, it looks like we're making progress on turning cows into black mustard eaters. Here we see more cows adding black mustard to their diets. At this point, I am no longer adding molasses water to the feed mix. I add hay cubes, something that takes some time to chew, so that the cows will spend more time at the troughs. It seems that cows sometimes can't tell what their herd mates are chewing on, and so they try the target weed, thinking that's what everyone is so excited about. It seemed to work. I have never before had cows clean their troughs of weeds by the fourth day of training. And I've never seen cows eat plain weeds in only five days.
there are still a few more things to do to make this project a success. Once cows are eating weeds, it's time for them to learn to do this in pasture. The best way is to put them in small pens of about a day to a day and a half of mixed forage and the target weed. This provides just enough pressure so the cow will practice eating the new weed. Some weeds are harder than others. Learning to eat Italian thistle took several trial pastures. We moved the cows from one pasture to another to prevent harm to other plants. Other weeds, like this late season diffuse knapweed, the cows began to graze immediately. The only way to know how long it takes a cow to learn to graze black mustard is to put the trained herd in a small pasture. It's likely that some trainees in our herd learned better than others, but just because a cow didn't learn during our training phase doesn't mean she can't learn. Cows learn from each other what to eat, and the small trial pastures are a good place for slower cows to catch up with the rest of the herd. Smaller pastures create competition, and a little competition can go a long way toward getting a cow to eat something she might not otherwise have tried. Cow's vegetation management goals are often different than ours, so if she has a lot of room to roam, she's likely to wander from place to place and give you kind of spotty results. Meanwhile, we generally prefer results that look something more like this. If these are your vegetation management goals, you'll have to manage your animals differently as well. You may find that a more intensive management system achieves what you're looking for. This means more fencing, and on rough terrain it might mean that you find new ways of putting up fence. Here I demonstrate a new way to use a golf bag, as a pack for fencing tools and supplies. It might also mean looking at new solutions for watering animals. This rancher in Marin County has a fleet of army surplus vehicles that he uses as portable waterers for his herd. He's found them to be very reliable, easy to repair, and capable of climbing steep hills. We've just taken the first step in a new war on weeds. Your recruits are ready to report for duty.